This is Cameron Chai from Azon, bringing you another episode of Azon.com TV. Today we're speaking to Neil Hughes from Bruker, and he's going to tell us about their S2 Pico Fox. Thank you. Uh, yes, the S2 Pico Fox is a, a new, new technology. It's the uh, total reflection X-ray fluorescence spectrometer. Um, unlike conventional X-ray fluorescence, this has the capability to measure quite low levels. We're talking sort of parts per billion. Um, or even PPT cases in, in, uh, with clean water samples. Um, it has the advantage of minimal sample, pre sample preparation, um, uh, portability, so it can be used for environmental monitoring on site. Um, uh, it's all low uh, air cooled, low power, um, no special chilling or anything required. Very easy setup. Um, we have in here. Uh, we have a, like a, a sample cassette here where we have little quartz discs which are placed in the instrument. Um, so you have an auto, a sample loader here. Uh, the sample preparation for, these, for, these, in, in, for this instrument is if it's a liquid sample, it's generally spiked with an internal standard um, uh, because the instrument has a universal factory calibration. Um, uh, and so you have an internal standard that you spike the sample, you pipette a small aliquot onto the disc, which is dried, and then placed into the instrument. And the principle of this technology is that the x-rays are directed at a very low angle of incidence, less than one degree, um, and you get the x-rays reflected off the surface of the instrument, of the sample, sorry, uh, which minimizes your matrix uh, interferences or effects. So you get a very sig good signal to background ratio and you get lower detection limits. So with conventional XRF you're limited to PPM levels, but with this instrument you can get down to PPB levels. So it's comparable to an ICP OES spectrometer. Um, elemental range is uh, from about potassium up to uranium. So for environmental modeling it's, per it's a perfect sort of instrument for that sort of tech, uh, application. And what's the typical measuring time like to take a to, to analyze a sample? Uh, measuring time ranges from say five minutes up to fifteen minutes, depending on how much uh, counts you want to acquire for your statistics. Uh, obviously, if you want to do a, a, a lot of trace analysis, you'll probably count for up more like fifteen minutes. So, um, but uh, yeah, that, that, that's that's the root normal sort of um, measuring time for the instrument. And is this the, the smallest in a range of instruments? This is the only um, TXRF instrument that Brooker manufacture. There's, it's, I think there's only one other manufacturer in the world that has this technique as a commercially available instrument. It is an emerging technique uh, and um, Brooker's at the forefront of, of this, this technique with the, with the S2 Pico Fox. Right then, Neil, thanks very much for telling us about the S2 Pico Fox. And if anyone wants more information, they can go to the Brooker site, presumably? Yes, go to Brooker.com. Right, Neil, thanks very much. No worries, thank you.